As you can see, we have the VL330AV HP Mini 311-1000. Also, the B116XW01 screen. So we have the correct parts. We also need some tools to make this work. In this case, it's primarily a small number four, three thirty seconds crosshead Phillips screwdriver. It is possible that you may need some other tools, but I have completely changed the screen using just the small screwdriver. Also inspect your new screen to make sure that there is no obvious physical damage to that screen. First, remove the battery. It makes things easier and safer. It is pretty simple. There are two latches on either side that release the battery and then it slides right out. Next, remove the bezel. It is done pretty easily by inserting your fingers between the screen and the bezel itself until it pops free and then slide your fingers like this to the next area and lift and pop free the remaining plastic latches. Removing the hinge cover or releasing it may be a little tricky. I use the smallest little screwdriver, stick it in the gap, and lift the hinge cover up until it comes out. Do the same for the other side. With the bezel removed, it is only four screws that need to release the old screen plus the adhesive tape holding the webcam connector line to the back of the screen. The four screws are located here, 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 and here. Simply unscrew them one at a time. Don't lose your screws. There are four pins holding the screen in place. With all four screws removed, you can then lift off the screen. Be careful not to pull it too far. Here is the webcam cable, which is attached with a piece of tape gently pull this off. You will want to reuse the tape. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. Pull them both off carefully. Lastly, there is the connector to your screen. There is an adhesive tab it needs to be pulled up gently, held up, and then grab the back of the connector, wiggle it, and remove it from the screen. You've successfully taken your screen off your Mini. Now it's time to replace it with the new screen. This is the new screen. It comes in an anti-static bag. Remove the bag and leave the protective covering on. Place it on the mini. And now it's time to reconnect the screen connector. When you plug the connector back in, be careful. And when done correctly, you should feel two clicks when the connector is properly seated.
Put the tape back and you're done with the connector. Now I remove the screen's protective covering. Put the screen in position. And the webcam tape should now stick to the back of the, the screen. And all I do is reach in and gently retape it to the screen where it just put itself. Next, put the screen back on the pins. Replace the four screws. One time to check that they're snug. And your new screen is in place. Power it up. Let's look. Great. Starting up Windows. There you have it. Now all that remains to be done is to put the bezel back in place. First, take to two pieces of hinge covers, slide them over each hinge until the screen rests in its proper place. Next, snap the screen back in place. You'll hear little snaps as you go around. Make sure you go all the way around evenly. Lastly in the bottom. And finally the hardest part. That's one. Pull this forward and then press down. That's two. Snap them in place, call it good.